Right, today we're going to describe the mechanism and the catalysis of ozone depletion by CFCs and oxides of nitrogen. So this is really a connection back to our um, first E4.1 in the SL, looking at how we formed ozone and how the ozone would naturally deplete in the natural cycle. And we didn't actually talk about how um, CFCs and oxides of nitrogen actually interfered with this. So this is where we're going to be actually explaining it. So just starting with a CFC, we have a carbon uh, combined with two chlorines and two fluorines. And uh, what happens is in the presence of light, um, a chlorine free radical will be created. And what happens then is this chlorine free radical can react with the ozone that is in the atmosphere and create oxygen, which is again slightly more stable than the ozone. Uh, we've also created another free radical, so this is sort of like a propagation step, and that one can then react with other oxygen free radicals in the atmosphere. Now you might wonder, well, where did that come from? So let's just take a look back at the SL. Our first step in the formation was when oxygen absorbed high energy UV light to produce two oxygen radicals. And these two oxygen radicals were necessary um, to produce ozone. So when we look back here, we can see that, well, this actually absorbs those oxygen free radicals to produce oxygen and another chlorine uh, free radical, which can then um, actually um, react with more ozone like in the previous step. So overall you kind of see it interferes with ozone in two levels by consuming it um, and converting it to oxygen but also by um, reacting with the oxygen free radicals that would otherwise produce ozone. So those are sort of two reasons. Now if we look at the oxides of nitrogen uh, what we have here again is uh, nitrogen monoxide can actually react with ozone and that will produce nitrogen dioxide and the slightly more stable oxygen. On top of that, nitrogen dioxide, which is created in this step, uh, can again absorb those oxygen free radicals that would be used to produce ox um, ozone. So that produces the nitrogen monoxide and oxygen again. So in two ways, by directly consuming um, the ozone and by consuming one of the materials that would otherwise create ozone, um, nitrogen oxides interfere. Uh, but if you look at these and you sort of add these all up together, uh, you can see that the net result is that an ozone reacts with an oxygen-free radical um, to produce oxygen. And so that's sort of just adding these together like Hess's Law.